My wife Kim loves her games a lot, but I want to show her the games that I grew up with. It's time to play them again. So welcome to Let's Play Again, and I'm back with Kim Hello. and myself, and today I want to show Kim a game that I grew up with uh, called UN Squadron, that's the name of it, it's a mm -hmm. shooting game. So what we played last time was an overhead kind of like beat em up game. Yeah, okay. we're just beating up guys and stuff like that. Kind of like Final Fight. Where this is a side view shooting game where, I know it sounds kind of funny, I don't know if you've ever played anything like this, where you yeah. play, it's either a spaceship or a jet fighter like we do in this one. Yeah. And we go through scrolling levels, fighting wave after wave of enemies. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's kind of challenging. I think you might have a hard time with oh, this one. But lovely, four I, quarters. Yeah, well, that's a great thing. Again, we're playing on two Udon arcade sticks. We're playing the arcade version of UN Squadron. And I want to give you guys a little bit of a backstory and Kim oh, a back a a little story bit, time. Story time. A little backstory on UN Squadron. Now, the first time I saw UN Squadron, uh, it was known as Area 88. This is the Japanese version here. Uh, this is the original name, so it's called UN Squadron when they brought it to America. But it used to be a manga called Area 88. Okay. And it was about a fighter pilot mm -hmm. who gets involved with the wrong types of guys uh, in a Middle Eastern country. And he's got to uh, make a certain amount of money by flying a certain amount of missions to be able to buy his freedom. Okay. That's the storyline. So he's yeah. like a slave? Kind of, yeah. But he's a slave to technology and a war. And uh, what else is uh, what else? His name is Shin. Uh, he's a Japanese pilot. And so I was really this is funny. You're gonna love this. Mm. I was so in. I was so into. Look at this. Oh. I was so into UN Squadron that back in 1991. 1991. Yeah. And this is my art book out of high school. I drew my own version of UN Squadron. Oh my god. <laughs> a one shot. I love it. Uh, UN Squadron in Desert Storm is just like kaboom and all Because you this. weren't influenced at all. No, no, no. I did this completely off the top of my head. I wasn't influenced by this uh, manga into... So, anyways, I gotta say, yeah, I know it's felt. It's felt? Oh, okay. So I, I did everything how I did. I drew straight in ink. Okay. And then I did just the felt marker around it. And I colored this way with felts for years, ever since 1985. I, as I said, I did this in 1991. Yeah, nicely done. Yeah, so it's pretty good. So, uh, here you go, for you guys. Aww. I used to do video game artwork all the time. This is from 1990, you know, 1990, 91. Actually, this would be 1990, yeah, for sure. This is Fatal Fury as well. This one, I'll show you guys. <laughs> Forgive my terrible artwork. I was a young boy. So, young little chap. Yeah. So I started reading the comic book and I loved the comic book and okay. I just couldn't believe the oh. artwork on it. It was really a mature storyline. Yeah, I can really, see why. Yeah, you can tell. And it was just about dog fighting and stuff like that. Oh, okay. You know, and about loss and tragedy. Really, that was what the comic book was about. Is it more futuristic? Or? No, it was, it, was, it was like in the 80s. Oh, it was yeah. the 80s. Okay. So like, like, uh, like the Tomcats and stuff are like 1984-ish, okay. stuff like that. So, uh, so that was the comic book. So I knew it as Area 88, then I went to Bellas Fair and I saw an arcade game and I'm like, whoa, what's that arcade game? And I saw the the the, the, the unicorn, the the, uh, the flaming unicorn. Oh. And I'm like, on the screen, I'm like, that's Area 88. I recognize the symbol from his plane. And I'm like, oh my God, there's a side view shooting game. And this was state of the arts at the time, once again, so. <laughs> once upon a time. Once upon a time, so. Let's play it again. Woo! Okay, so pick your guy. So you got, there you go. So I'm picking Shin right here. Oh, you made me select that guy. <laughs> you got that guy. I, I, I think, I think that, that, looks, that looks like 8-bit Eric. It looks like, okay, I'll be 8-bit Eric. <laughs> That's 8-bit Eric. That is awesome. That is awesome. I'll so do you proud, Eric. Pick, pick your, pick your, uh, your oh. weapons. The more missions you do, yeah. So the top, your top button is your firing, the bottom is your special. So I'll take the top, you take the bottom, we should be okay. That's what she said. Yeah. Whoa! Ah! Came with the sexual innuendos again. <laughs> but the, holy. Um, so yeah, whenever you want, you can use your special. Remember, take sorry, the bottom. What, what's the special? Do you want me to take the bottom? No, I, I'm, I, I got it. I got <laughs> this is all getting majorly sexual I got now. It. Yeah, uh, so yeah, you just watch out for all the, ooh. 
It's hard. When you haven't played a shooter before, this is tough. Yeah, uh... So, like, the uh, blue things give you... They're a power-up, so okay. you want to grab those. Uh, so obviously I can't turn around or anything. No, no, no. You are only ever going forward. This is so but the funny. other guys can turn around. That's not very funny. Yeah, well, that's this is the, the nature of the game. Can I shoot you? You don't want to shoot me, but here. Now use your super. Oh. Um, I seem to have died again. Are you doing like an impersonation of my English mother? No. Yeah, you are. <laughs> I love you, Luke. Dude, use your special as much as you can. And don't worry, you're running into it. That's a problem. Stay back. No, I'm not, I'm not yeah, used. I know. I'm sorry, Just I'm stay not Stay back. Used. Use your special. As much as you can. Oh, I want you to do it. We oh. got it. Uh, yeah, the first, uh, yeah. I used to be able to do the first level without dying in the arcade. I remember... I had it, I just had it all memorized back then. Uh, oh look, Eric is so happy. Way to go, 8-Bit Eric. <laughs> mission two. Who's this guy? He's the leader of the base and he'd always give you your missions and. So anime. Oh, well, that's the thing, right? Bazooka. Okay, again, I'll take the top, you take the bottom. Stay back, don't run into things. That's another. It's hard. I, I couldn't even imagine of never Whoa. playing a shooter. Oh, I keep. Sh I don't want that. I'm forgetting who's who. I almost thought you. You know what it it's is? It's just people keep sneaking up behind me too. Stay in the middle with this one. Oh, even I'm having a harder time. Oh, I love the clicking uh, of the arcade sticks. This is what it used to be like. I loved it. So which arcades did you play this in? I played in Bellis Fair. The mall. They used to have a little arcade there. Yeah. And that's that's what first time I saw it. It was the first place I saw. Killer Instinct as well as a, a fighting game of the time, but it's so funny that you've never played a shooting game. It's just the weirdest thing. Well, no, like, I mostly start off with, like, Mario and Donkey Kong. Yeah, but nothing like, not like shooters like this. No. There'd be no I can see you ever playing a game like this. No, it's mostly whatever my parents bought, right? Yeah. What they wanted to play, too. What did your dad used to play back in the day? Mario. Yeah, he's big into that. But now he's a big gamer into, like... Oh, he's into everything now. Destiny, Destiny. Uh, Grand Theft Auto. Your entire family is gamers. Wolfen That's what's so amazing. Wolfenstein. Yeah, but they're like not like they're like quite like closet cases. Closet. Well, your yeah. mom, your mom is into WoW. Oh well, she used to be Don't. very. That's so embarrassing. <laughs> That's, not, even That's not a big deal. Okay. No. No. no okay. I, I got a story. I told you about the time when I was coming home from college. Yeah. And uh, I was like raining outside, 11 o'clock at night. I was so tired from traveling for about an hour and a half. I called her to come pick me up. Yeah. And I'm like, Mom, can you come get me? It's raining. I'm at the bus stop. I'm in a raid, and she hangs <laughs> up on me. And she, she what? She hangs up on me. That is so funny. And then funny. I had to walk home. That is so funny. Wow. No Literally. pun intended. Literally, yeah. Yeah, that's a lot of people are really addicted to WoW, and people forget like when your parents into WoW. That's even stranger, you know. Stranger, weird, yeah. Harder. Is because you? Is it weird because your mom's like playing with all these strangers? Is it was that ever weird for it you? It got weirder when like they sent her like photos of their cats and their family. <laughs> that was weird. That, yeah. That made it kind of awkward. That's They're funny. They're my friends. Well, you do get What's a test. a doctor? And I'm like, I am Santa Claus apparently. Yeah. The doctor well, person. you know, like you do get like I know you haven't played a lot of online games, but no, I have. I, you do become very close to the people you're playing with. It's, well, I, it's I bet, odd. but I I rather play games that have an ending. Yeah. Than I could, like right now I'm into fantasy life. I'm yeah. 200 hours in. Yeah. And there's an ending to it, but yeah, I'm wasting a lot more time on it than I should. Yeah. But still, there's an ending to it. No, yeah, for sure. Well, that's why I kind of like these games back in the day. They were kind of fun, and oh, 8-Bit Eric is pissed there. Oh, I beat him up. <laughs> All right. Ooh, I got fire. You can, yeah, you can pick more powerful stuff. It depends on how much money you... You see, it's just like the, the, the comic. It's every mission you gain money, and you can spend money in better equipment and all that so kind of stuff. So you must have read the comic and then was so excited to see this. Yeah, exactly. And how much of it did you, like, were able to relate from the comic? It was everything. It was exactly the main characters. Everything was yeah. it was the same. It was wonderful. Like, like it was a really cool thing at the time that comic books and video games were coming together. I know that sounds so stupid, really? but you'd never seen that before. Not like this. Mm -hmm. and, and for being a video gamer, like, you felt you were part of a really secret underground thing. It's like, I was reading this, G this secret Japanese comic book. You know, you know, and I was then I was re playing the secret Japanese game. Uh, it, was, it was it was cool. It was uh, the beginning of anime in North America, and that was a pretty exciting thing. So, 
Nobody yeah. else knew. But you know, so your sister is really a big, it's so weird. Yeah. Your dad is a big gamer. Yeah. Uh, your mom is. Yeah. And your sister is too. And so is your brother. Everybody in your family yeah, is. Yeah, so my brother. It's, it's funny because, again, we're a closet case. Yeah. Members. We're not, we're not like, gotta collect them all type thing. I think we'll, we're, we mostly play games until that's all that's left from the game, right? We just play it till it's dead. Yeah, yeah, but if you. you but yeah, no, but like my sister won't stop playing Destiny. Destiny. Oh, She's man. On it all the time. Well, it's funny, your sister phoned me up the other night and this is like, hey, join me in this raid. Or no, this raid, uh, this, the daily strike. And, and I'm like, okay. And then. And then she's like, yeah, none of my, my clan is there. Can you help me? I'm like, okay, I'll help you. <laughs> and so so I'm thinking I'm going to have a fun game with your sister. And I show up. Your sister. Oh, that's nice. Remember to use your special. I am. Things are getting kind of crazy around I here. I am. So I just, I, I don't know what's going on. I mean, I'm just trying to take these things out. These egg thingies. <laughs> I know. What the, holy shit. <laughs> Why won't that guy <laughs> die? I think we just got to put up with it till we can. Oh, my shit. Let's get some more credits first. I think you did. So, so I find it. So, so I'm like, okay, I'll, I'll show up in your in, in your strike. And yeah. I show up and she's like, oh my god, your light level's so low. And I'm like, well, yeah, I'm just a casual Destiny player. Why are we oh, going back? We gotta go Why back. Are we going back? I, I, Why? Because we are. The I know. The game goes we, back. Well, now it does. So use your, use your, uh, your supers as much as you can. I'm trying to. Yeah. First start. Ah! Sorry, so. Yay! We're getting the. Oh, well, are we going back again? Oh, my God. Ah, that was fun. Yeah, uh, we can continue on, but we won't. That's a good uh, little episode for Let's Play Again, where what we want to do is just play a little bit of the game, and I'll continue on. I don't want to make episodes that are 40 minutes long, because I don't yeah. think most people will watch them, so we just want to make it a little bit entertaining. That was enjoyable. Yeah, it's uh, not a bad game, right? I wouldn't mind doing something again. Very challenging, though. Yeah. You'll get... Like, the more we do these types of games, the better at them you'll get as well. It just amazed me what... Like arcades do to people back in the day. What do you mean? Like how challenging yeah. they made it. Yeah, it wasn't easy stuff. Yeah. Like I mean, you're almost like, why would people play that? Because it's so hard. Why right. would people spend money to have such a hard experience? Where well, it was fun. That's what video games were back then, and that's Definitely. that's the crazy thing. So, All right. oh, we're getting blasted away. So, anyways, guys, till next time.